Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. We've got plenty to get through in this episode, mostly reskins but they are rather good and it just brings a whole new variety of DMUs and EMUs to the uh, to the series. Starting off though with a, a new locomotive, it, I, I think it's right to describe it as a new locomotive. It's a Class 37 but it's been reworked by uh, Fun Clive and Killer Cans into the 37-9 which is the re-engined version of the class 37 so it's got more power and it's got new engines and new stats to go with that. I'm just going to be quiet for a little minute just so you can hear the engine. It's not really under that much strain but uh, it does have some new engine sound so I'll just be quiet a minute. And you can see there that the Class 37-9 is affectionately known by some as the slug, and there's a little slug motif on it there. This is on the trans This is in the Transrail livery. I do. There is also there, there are other variants, but I've got on this particular contest. I've got the Euro Phoenix uh, livery, which looks rather good. I think you will agree. Let's pause it so I can take actually have a look at the Euro Phoenix livery which is a pretty decent looking livery um, if we go into we'll head straight into the uh, the depot and take a look at the vehicle so we've got the diesel locomotives we've got the full range of standard class 7 uh, class 37s there 1774 horsepower 247 kilonewtons of tractive effort whereas the uh, the 37-9 80 miles per hour top speed so it's 10 miles per hour faster uh, 1822 horsepower 280 kilonewtons of tractive effort and you can see there metal sector large logo transrail another metal sector there uh, plane so there's loads of different varieties of those they should start to become available from 1986 when the re-engineering uh, scheme began um, does that actually is there a little bit of a so it's a diesel loco in the rail freight large low yeah uh, time to haul both passenger and goods it's become one of the mainstays of British Rail Fleet um, yeah I think that's just describing the standard class 7 there but you get the idea anyway it's just a really good different variant of the class 37 be good for heavy freight trains I think a couple of those uh, top and tailing any particular unit we've got a load of EMUs, uh, class 220, 221, but we've also got loads of new class 170 skins as well. I will start with the uh, the TPE, the new TPE livery class 170. It says in the description uh, that it's just a stand-in for the 185 because I don't think we'll be getting a 185 anytime soon. So it, it, this will be good for those routes on the Trans Pennine network which will be using uh, class 185 still it's, they're retaining a few of those for some of the uh, some of the less popular routes I guess you'd, you'd call them some of the smaller routes so um, this is the reskin is by Elliot 85 the original model by plain simple I don't think I'm get I get the idea that I get the impression that the 170 in the TPE livery isn't that well fond uh, thought of not very well liked but they do have uh, 170s or they had at the very least 170s in the fleet I'm not sure if they still retain some um, but they definitely Transpennine Express definitely had or have 170s so it's not uh, it's not unrealistic it doesn't look too bad and considering if we do have to wait a while for a 185 or what if one isn't going to materialize anytime soon then this will have to do and it's a uh, three car formation now we've got a whole load of 170s in a variety of different liveries now we've got a whole pack of these by war pyro uh, so we've got the west midlands trains or the west midlands railway in its orange purple which i'm not a big fan of if i'm honest but uh, it's a good uh, reskin nevertheless we've even got transport for wales rail there on the back in their sort of a white and red livery which seems to be a popular among the network now 
that particular uh, white and red seems to be everywhere um, but yeah we've got that one what else have we got well we do have lots more I can't show you them all uh, but we do have some that have been reskinned and renumbered to the 168 so we've got some Chilton's Railway branded uh, 170s and they've been renumbered to 168 Clubman so uh, you can you've even got some Chilton line uh, locomotives now you do we do already have a what is it 68 and some Chilton's main line mark three carriages so we can recreate all of the Chilton's routes now if you so desire I've just got this one here which is I'm not sure which variant but there's just two different variants of the uh, Chilton's branding there I'm not sure which is the more modern one I think the other one was the more modern of the branding but we do have I think what's this this is a four car well there is a four car is this they're just two three car but there is a four car variant of it as well but I'll show you that in more detail in the actual um, thing we're at the wrong end of the line let's head into here into the depot into the diesel multiple units and now we can see we've got a whole different variety we've got uh, Anglian Railways silver livery Central Trains Great Anglia London Midland Midland Main Line South West Trains Transport Wales the original West Midlands Railway Cross Country uh, Chilton's Railway 2 car London Overground and then you've got different varieties of four car. You've got a first Scott Rail, um, another first Scott Rail. Uh, for the original first trans, well, not the original, yeah, would would have been the original first Transpennine and Express livery there as well. Great Anglia, and then we do have, if we scroll right down to the bottom, there's some four car turbo stars as well. One six eight, I think they would be Clubman's, possibly. If they were the 168 uh, but anyway we've got some four car variants there the next long list of new reskins we do have again I think War Pyro and Northern Fail this time got together for the whole list so we've got let's start with the um, 320s I think these are just double check on the front of that so this again renumbered and reliveried stop 320. So this is the uh, Strathclyde um, passenger transport, and then we've got the newer um, Scott Rail Abellio blue colour there. Another just really good um, set of livery. So these, yeah, this is the class 320 in the uh, in these different kind of Scotland liveries, Scott Rail liveries. And then, if we head over to the uh, 321 this time, renumbered again. This time we've got the first Capital Connect, the older one, and then we've got the Great Northern. Um, we do also have, I think I put the wrong one on. I just, um, yeah, we've got the Great Northern liveried one, and then there's a first Capital Connect liveried one. I just wanted to make the different, different, different. The whatever <laughs> the difference between them because I do the first Capital Connect I think is one of the classic liveries it really is up there in the top if there is a leaderboard or a score of different liveries and the best ones I think the first Capital Connect livery is up there so uh, yeah we've got loads of the three two ones and then we've got some three two twos as well so we've got a uh, first Scott Rail and on the back got a northern coloured one here northern blue but there are a whole host of other ones as well so just wanted to show a good selection of the liveries that are available for the renumbered vehicles but if you go to electric multiple units this time you've got the uh, 320 so you've got all the different ones there you've got that first maroon red Branding, and then you got the orange Strathclyde, the um, three two ones, the Great Northern, uh, Great Anglian branded, and then you got the first Capital. Connect. That's what I was talking about. I particularly like that livery. Uh, yeah, Great Anglia 
that one, London Midlands. So there's loads, London Overground, loads of different varieties. And then down to the 322. So you've got the Standard Express, which is the original model. Um, and then we've got First North Western Trains, First Scott Rail, Northern Blue, Northern Rail, and Stansted Sky Train as well. So loads and loads of varieties of electrical multiple units and diesel multiple units. Now I think really from Scotland down to the south of England, there's something for everyone, I think, for every route almost. Uh, definitely a good selection. Now the main train, I think, has to be, leaving the best to last possibly, is the 225. I featured the beta at the episode before last. Uh, the model, the Intercity Swallow, then dropped, uh, but I didn't have time to re record last week's episode, so um, again, a bit late to this one. But we do have this one dropped as well the GNER livery 225, which looks awesome. This time, all the different elements of the consist are separate, so you can build your own unit. And we've got the GNER, we've got the Intercity Swallow, and we do have other liveries which are on the way. Is this gonna is this gonna go anywhere? Just wanted to appreciate this for a minute. Like that. Just looks rather good. Completely rebuilt from the other model which itself was, was pretty good, you know, I couldn't I couldn't find any faults with it. But CW wanted to rebuild it and we've got a whole different host of units now. But uh, I suppose the one thing you did add to it was the new um, separate system. So if you go to electric multiple units and you want to select your uh, your class 91 to begin with, uh, you got the Swallow and then you got the DF different GNER livery ones there. So if we just add the newer one, which actually we'll add the we'll go with the the yellow, the older GNER, and then we go down to passenger got Mark IV carriages as separate now so you can build your own units or just use the Mark IVs on something else if you uh, if you so wanted to uh, but you'd have you've got the restaurant car which only has a capacity of 10 I'll add one of them and then you've got the first open which only has a capacity of 18 and then the standard open which has a capacity of 30 so you can really mix and match what you want your consist to look like for the back of the train you're going to want a driving vehicle trailer you're going to have to click on the all tab for that and then you go down to the mark 4 section which is somewhere around here and then yeah if you click on the all tab you find the mark 4 carriage then you will find the GNER or the swallow livery uh, driving van trailer and you add that onto the end so you can really customize your own consist the electrical multiple unit not the, electrical, the electrical locomotive uh, power of 6567 horsepower 220 kilonewtons of tractive effort top speed of 140 even though they are limited to 125 on the east coast main line they do have the potential to reach 140 if the signaling was upgraded but um yeah i think it's a bit late in the day for that now because a lot of them are unfortunately being scrapped but if you didn't want to have to create your own consist, if you go to all again um, and then go to the Mark IVs, I think have I just passed them. Yeah, if you go back to the Mark IVs and scroll right down to no, it's not that one. I had it before. Right. Anyway, there is a pre-built consist so you just have to put the locomotive on the front and then you can just add this on the back when I find it I bet you it's at the bottom and it's there so you've got the full set already pre-built for you in knowing CW he's probably done it in all the correct order and everything no I don't want to buy do I, I want to add so yeah, it's full 262 meter long unit, so you do have to have long enough stations. But yeah, you've got the uh, you should have the consist in the correct formation if you don't want to have to build your own. So you put the electric, the, you put the locomotive on the front, and then your set of consists on the back. So uh, so yeah, some pretty uh, pretty good uh, selection of different things, and can't wait for the new liveries to come out. Might have even. Some might have even come out 
after this episode has dropped. Now what I've done is I've created a UK Mod Showcase um, collection on Steam now, so just so it's easier to track the mods that I featured on this series. So there is a link to that in the description now, so I've already updated that list with all the latest locomotives and any of the ones that I will feature in the future will be added to that list so uh, head over to that if you fancy taking a look at any of these mods and adding them to your UK builds as I leave you with this which is the uh, the GNER 225 looking rather fine in that uh, in that paint job there so I'm going to leave it there for today and say until next time Bye-bye.